Let's work with time in C++. So the first thing we'll do is include a library called CTime. It's responsible for, has like some functionality for dealing with time. Now we'll add this line uh, to get a timestamp, which is a number that computers use to understand time. So if you would output this number, You see that is uh, is uh, some big number, and it's a representation, a computer representation of the time. So to get the actual time uh, in human readable format, we specify another uh, variable called the local time, and now we can simply output um, time as we humans understand it. Let's say we want a year. And so that's a very strange year, if you ask me. And that's because uh, it counts from 1900. So Now you'll actually see it's 2016 and might add a new line in there. So 2016. Um, we also have the month in there. which actually is not spelled out, so you need to type mon instead of mont. Let me just clear the screen for you. So it's the eight months, and we can also specify the date. So day of the month, Monday. So now we got our date, right? The 10th of August, 2016. Uh, but actually this is not correct because like uh, before it always starts counting from one computers count from zero but we humans count from one and it's actually September right now if you check here it's September uh, so if you run it you'll see it's the ninth month so now we've got the correct date and this, this formatting let's, this quickly gets confusing right so we could say we have the year this number we could have the month which is this number and finally we could have the day which is this number and then we could simply output like month um, or whatever formatting you want day month year So compile it, execute it, and you'll see that we don't have the year here. And we're missing a separator. So there we go. We got our computer program to output the date. And similarly, you can get the hour, uh, minutes, and seconds. So simply change this to hour, minutes, seconds, and you got the time.